Hey everyone, welcome to a new video and today we are going to talk a little bit about Digimon. So it has been a while since Digimons are over here in Pokelin and I've had the time to test them out also with their own specific held items which will help. And by the way, don't look at this description yet. Uh, we will talk about that in a minute. Mostly because for example, Line Strike is wrong. It's not Line Strike, it's Dragon Whisperer, but we will talk about that. We have two teams over here, one with with Metal Garurumon X and the other one with War Greymon X. We will test both teams at exactly the same power, exactly the same investments so that we can compare the results exactly how they should be done and of course I'll give you guys my personal opinion on how these Digimons will affect the meta and if they will even affect the meta. But before we continue the video a quick word from our sponsor. This video is kindly sponsored by Lords Mobile. It's a mobile war game with very interesting battle mechanics and the cinematic that I found on their YouTube channel is just way too good. You can get it on Eptoid using the link in the description box. First of all, let's take a quick look at War Greymon X. His ability increases speed when he's low HP, which, well, usually suggests that this Pokemon should be a tank, so both uh, Digimons that I'm going to test today will have Intelligence 3 on the first ability and Heavy Armor on the second. Also on the passive, it says that you have a 50% chance of triggering a combo effect, and as we can see of down there, uh, it says Streak, immediately get another chance to act after action. So basically, once you go below 50% HP, you always have a 50% chance of moving again. But then if we look at this Digimon's abilities, it's pretty much straightforward. It did not develop as much hype as Metal Garurumon X, which we will talk about in a bit. Let's take a look at the held item, a two-star held item, which is the highest you can get. It provides you with Line Strike and Moxie. Uh, Line Strike is an ability, Moxie is an ability as well. Let's let me just showcase what that is exactly. Let's start with Moxie. It's basically every time that you kill an enemy, you get extra attacks. So you get your attacks increased by 15%. But the the first uh, ability that it says over here, Line Strike, is wrong, especially because when I first look at this held item, I'm like, Line Strike? Why Line Strike? If you guys don't know, Line Strike, I need to just go to another Pokemon of a year, maybe Groundon has it? Yes, Line Strike increases your physical attack by 8% at the beginning of each round, lasts for 5 rounds. I believe it lasts for 3 rounds, I'm not even sure about this one. Uh, it should be lasting for 3 rounds and not 5, but let's just assume it's 5. Um, the thing is, increases your physical attack, right? And if we look at the Wargrave on X, well, he is a special attacker. Okay, cool. Let's take a look the other Digimon. Let's take a look at Metal Garurumon X. And Metal Garurumon X is a Pokemon, uh, sorry, it's a Digimon that uses both attacks, both physical and special. So you can select one stat, and this is what I always suggest to anybody. You select one stat and you decide what you want to build it. If you want special attack, just go full special attack. If you want physical attack, just go full physical attack. But imagine that you really, really love Digimon and you want to actually build this one with a two-star held item. In that case, you are going to select special attack because this line strike is not line strike. On both held items, you are actually getting Dragon Whisper and not line strike. So if we go over here, Dragon Whisper increases your special attack at the beginning of each round. This is what the held item provides, so it has a wrong description over there, should be Dragon Whisper. So if you want to play the, these Digimons with a 2 star held item, I strongly suggest that, uh, of course, not even strongly suggest, it's like you must go special attack if you are planning to use the held item itself. So now that we understand the held item, let me just explain the basics behind these teams because they are exactly the same team but one for each type. We have Overlord Victini as a teammate over here, of course because of the crit rate and crit damage that Victini provides and also a little bit of the skill power. And then for each team, of course, we have the weather buffer of each specific type. Over here we have Groundon, which provides, of course, a weather buff to the fire type and ground type Pokemon, and we have a fire type Digimon over here 
And then on Metal Garudumon X, we have Overlord Kyogre because it provides a weather buff to water and ice type Pokemon, and Metal Garudumon X is a water type, so it also enjoys the weather buff from Overlord Kyogre. When we are over here on the test account and we are testing Pokemon, there's always like one player that I like to test against, which is Zexy. Zexy already quit so long ago, so technically, since I don't upgrade this account and Zexy already quit, both accounts don't get power, so it's always the same test results which is awesome so for example over here against hoopa if we are going to test out like the damage of mr greymon x we have an ability that ignores uh ignores 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 guards which is this one and even when buffed by groundon over here i'm just going to use this and it always lags a little bit and i don't deal much damage the weird thing is is that he does not survive either that's the bad thing. And I'm like, okay, uh, he absorbed my buffs with the, with its ultimate and I'm going to absorb the buffs back. Why not just use a Z1? Oh, we have over here, this one says 190 skill power. The other one says it's less. Uh, for some reason it says it's less. So we are going to not use the Z ultimate and we are just going to use the normal ultimate. And as you can see, we are not dealing much damage. We Technically, we really, really need to crit if we are want to deal damage with this Digimon. And that's the thing. He does not have inbuilt crit rate. Does not have anything inbuilt like damage multipliers. The biggest thing that you can provide to him... By the way, I'm using Volcanion for the speed boost, but I'm not even... Yeah, I am getting the speed boost. So I'm using Volcanion because it provides speed boost, we have the held item providing us Dragon Whisper, then we have more special attack with this, and then survivability with this. And even after all of that survivability, um, I mean, it doesn't feel like it's much, really, it does not have anything. Now, um, the thing is, we don't have much damage output, we also have our own buff, which I could use and I can showcase you guys that, of course. We can just go again and battle and check it out. We have our own buff, which we will increase our own speed by 50% and our own special attack by 50%. Is it special attack that it says over there? Please don't tell me it's physical attack. Because the Digimons are already so... Yeah, it's special attack. Yeah, and speed by 100%, which is nice. So I'm going to, uh, to do it like this. I'll just buff myself up and I'll do it like that. Oh no. It's fine. Uh, oh, no. Zoroark moved. Wait, hold on. Zoroark moved. We have to restart the battle. We don't want Zoroark to move because then Zoroark uses his buff, which taunts us, and we cannot use any other skill that does not deal damage. And we want to use at least double buff so that... Oh, wait. Now I'm way too fast. Wait, hold on. This cannot be it. What I'm trying to do here is at least using my buff before my ultimate. But uh, as we can see, Mr. Hoopa just goes down and takes quite a while to release his ultimate right now. And maybe this is the time? Yeah, Hoopa absorbs my stuff. What if I do something like this? I just Z buff. So I have all the fresh buffs. I am literally, I cannot get more special attack than this. I, this is literally my cap. If I don't one shot this Hoopa, I did one shot. Okay, finally. Yeah, uh, if I would not one shot that Hoopa, it would be very questionable and this Digimon would be literally useless. But as you can see, you only deal damage after that buff and that buff does not guarantee, even though it, it decreases your speed by 100%, it does not guarantee that you will move again. That's the problem over there. If it would guarantee that would, you would move again, it would be awesome. Yes, it would be actually amazing. But it does not guarantee that you move again. So that's why this Digimon is kind of questionable. So let's move to the next one, which is Metal Garurumon X. And as I said, straight up inherit with strike cards, basic level, everything will be the same for Metal Garurumon X. Now, Metal Garurumon X is much more interesting, especially because he has like three paragraphs of passive. And usually passive and abilities are the things that actually dictates a Digimon or a Pokemon's uh, viability in a way. And what is so interesting is that we have a lot of damage reduction over here, then we have extra damage reduction over there, also 30% restriction reduction taken. 
it's a lot of stats and then in battle we increase your own max hp by 20 percent both attacks by 20 percent and speed by 20 percent as well there's like a lot of things going on if you guys want to just take a look and read because everything seems to be accurate everything seems to be working and it's actually very interesting and of course i did not want to point this out but it's it's like if you guys go and read the unova's passive it's basically the same thing it's just unova's passive but a, a tiny little bit better there's even like a move over here which is also exactly copy paste into metal garurumon but don't worry this digimon will have its own flaws as well especially because it was a copy paste in a way from some pokemon so there are some stuff that is not working correctly i mean even the held item it's like the those held items those are copy paste from like resonance uh, mewtwo x if i'm not wrong like like those passives are copy pastes from other held items that already existed so it's whatever really let's try out our damage over here as you can see we also start with full rage which is very interesting but we don't want the full rage yet what we are going to do so we have multiple stuff we have like one group move that ignores and dispels the guards and deals a lot of damage or, or at least according to the translation or the description it should deal a lot of damage because it says like deals 100% more damage to unfreezable pokemon so we should be dealing like 120 skill power which apparently we don't we don't even kill the side pokemon it's weird then we have the ultimate which i don't know i don't know everything is questionable in a way so we will just do it like this as you can see ultimate does not hit shadow force pokemon so it does not hit hoopa if he's under there and i'm going to use the other move the other move dealt quite a lot of damage as you could see at least in terms of damage there are some moves that you actually are dealing damage but there's something else interesting over here which is the survivability and i'm going to try to display the survivability right now now what i'm going to do is that i'm not going to buff myself because hoopa will absorb the buffs and use them against me so i'll just uh, use the volcanian to trigger kyogre to move and i will remove the shield over here and now since this one um that was a guardian soul by the way it's not a shield this one does not dispel guardian souls it only dispels shields and i'm just going to attack it hoopa can use ultimate did i die i did not die this is a good thing about it i actually did not die so in terms of survivability this is an account that it does not have much development in terms of survivability. I do not have wish stars. I do not have ribbons. I'm lacking a lot of things. And if I would have this account perfect, I feel like this Digimon itself can be like extremely tanky. And now uh, that I put him below 50% HP, he got an extra uh, restriction damage buff. So he actually managed to kill me. But let's just continue with this move just to see the damage. It's fine, and then there goes Hoopa now, buffed by Zoroark, and I have no chance. But just to showcase you guys that it was not luck, as you can see, you we have Dragon Whisper, that's from the Held Item. We have Speed Boost, because that's from the... Uh, that's from that one, that's from the Volcanian support. Just to show you guys that it was not luck, I'm going to do exactly the same thing, where I do this, he uses Ultimate, and I survive. It's literally not luck and what i can do is i could do z ultimate and whatever but i want to show you guys something else something very interesting which is this middle move it says that the skill ignores immortal effect of accessories and after killing uh you just get immune to uh control effects you get your attack and speed increased yada yada this could be good to kill like a side pokemon right it would be actually amazing to kill a side pokemon unless this does not do what it's described to this is the bad part let's look uh, i don't know if uh, for those who don't know this icon over here indicates that you have a ho, ho set so you have an extra life you are protected by a ho, -ho set now <laughs> i will do this over here did you guys notice anything weird on mr squirtle over there 
Mr. Squirtle just got two ho-ho sets for free. Because that Z skill is bugged. It's getting two ho it's giving two ho-ho sets to the enemy. I don't know how how can this kind of bug happen? But it just happens. It's it's super weird, but it just happens. As you can see, I killed Squirtle, he lost one. But he still has one more. So it's like you have some skills, especially Z skills, they are not working as expected. Some skills also have a little bit less damage than others. But besides, you would probably not use that skill. It could be good if it was not bugged. Yes, that's the thing. If this was not bugged, it could be used. And it could actually be very important to use in a team. Especially because imagine that you want to play this against black and white. Uh, yeah, it could be important that you would have that. But since we don't have that, we need to think of alternatives in a way. I mean, of course, if you are a person that you got Metal Garurumon X, you should record a video and report it to the to the admins or report it to the devs because they should honestly fix this. Like, most of the skills are not working as they should and the descriptions are always a mess. Now, to finish the video, let me just give you guys an opinion related to this Digimon itself. A lot of people were like, will this Digimon break the meta because the description was way too good? I don't think it will break the meta. I don't think it will have... Like, it's not even thinking. I know it has zero chance against Sword and Shield, but because of the typing, because of being a steel and water Digimon, it has four times resistance to ice type. So it could be interesting against black and white. But I, I'm not sure if it would survive. Because of all of this damage reduction that it has on his passive, and on a very well built account, there could be actually a decent chance that this Digimon would survive a black and white dance, but because it's an Overlord and not a Resonance, you know, Resonance Pokemon have a very interesting thing called Echo Power, where they basically have increased 50% damage, and since black and white is like double of them, it's 100% increased damage to anything that is not an, uh, a Resonance, so... It's very hard to know if this Digimon would have any chance at all against any other resonance. And if we take a look at other popular Pokemon against Creator Arceus, I have a feeling it could have a chance just because it has also restriction reduction on its passive. But then again, Creator Arceus is always doing 4x to basically any Pokemon or Digimon. So it's going to be hard to figure out if Creator would have any troubles or not. And then, for example, let's take a look at, at the other one. Let's take a look at Flare. Flare is Ground and Dragon, so it's double weakness to Ice type, which is the, the Digimon's ultimate. Digimon's ultimate is Ice type, the Metal Garurumon X. And we have a double weakness to Ice type, so... Like, there could be a chance where the Digimon takes this down, but I doubt it. Because, like, one of the reasons why a Flare is so good is that if Flare survives, like, one single round, right? He just needs to survive one single round. He uses this. I believe it's it's one of these. Um... Okay, it's this one, okay? It's this one because it increases the stacks of his passive, yada yada. I'm not going to, like, explain everything that is over here. But basically, he becomes just much, much tankier after he uses this attack. So, Zygarde only needs to be tanky enough to stay alive. And the bad thing uh, about the Digimon itself, about Metal Garurumon X, what are you, Mr. Metal Garurumon? We are over here. The better thing is that he does not have any ways of moving two times before Flare can move. So, in a way, I don't think he has a chance against Flare either. It feels like it's very close. It feels like it's a very good Digimon and actually could be a cheap alternative to a lot of the Pokemon that exist. Yes. But in terms of meta, I think it will be very hard for this one to perform decently well. It would need like a top player with a decent account and a lot of ribbons and a lot of a lot of wish stars and whatever to actually test this Digimon. Sorry, I was going to say Pokemon again. 
to actually test its Digimon to its full potential, because we already could see that he can survive against a much higher power Hoopas, with just Crystal Body and, yeah, and his own damage reduction. But then again, it will be hard. It, it will be hard, but it needs a very good alternative and cheaper compared to everything else, and I don't think it relies on the Held Atom to perform well. The Held Atom is an extra, but I don't think it relies on it. Anyways, this is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next video.